In this lesson, we're going to learn how to add the functionality to these aggregate terms. You see, right now, you cannot see the submit button unless you agree to terms. If you disagree, you cannot see it. Okay? So that's what we want to add, okay? It's so simple, it will take like a minute. So let's go back to our code. When you checked in the HTML, we have this input type of checkbox, okay? And it has an ID of terms. So we're going to use this ID as a variable up here to add an event listener. Remember, we're adding this event listener in the event of the window having loaded, okay? So still in this function, we're going to add in at the bottom. We add some space. So agreed terms dot add event listener. So we're going to listen to the event of click when the person clicks that we're going to add the anonymous function and the use capture is going to be false just like we've done with the all other events so in this case we're going to check whether this agreed to term is actually checked so we're going to add an if condition like this if agree to terms dot checked if it is checked that means it has been checked that way. What do we want to do? If it is checked, we are going to change the CSS attribute of that button from visibility hidden to visibility visible. You see, when you go back to the CSS here, this is the styling for that submit button. The visibility is hidden. So we are going to use JavaScript to change this visibility to visible. Okay? That's the only thing. The other thing, let's check the ID of that button. It has the ID of the button. Okay? So if it is checked, we want the button.style dot visibility to be visible just that so if it is not checked we are going to go to the else part and we are going to, to return it to hidden if it is not checked it's going to be hidden so let's go back to the browser and test so we're back to the browser so you see you cannot see the submit button now what you're going to do when you click it, the submit button is there. That's how we handle that. When you don't agree, you cannot submit this form. But when you agree, you'll be able to submit. So that's the end of the lesson. You see, it was so easy. It's just an if helps. And as you have noticed, in every event, we are using if else so you you want to be familiar with if else and else if okay that's it for now see you in the next lesson